special delivery from um, a subscriber, a Jossa's Shopee shop. And sakto because I really do need, uh, not need, fine, big word. But I wanted to show you guys how I use these markers. This is Sari, my best friend. Yeah. Wow! Oh my god, this is open this one first. Uh, bubble wrap! So wrap! Yay! So, we got the Crayola. Ooh, I love these. What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nicole. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some great pens and markers and just basically stationery for this back to school season. The stuff I got, pretty affordable for stationery, for brush pens, markers. In fact, I got dupes and even the cheapest brush pens on Shopee. I realized that a lot of the stationery that I have is pretty expensive, so I wanted to share some that were on the more affordable side of the spectrum and of course still perform pretty well. So I got these, tested them out, and now I'm excited to share them with you in case you're looking for stuff to get for the new semester. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one, we got the Monami Plus Pen 3000. So this is the Monami Plus Pen 3000. And basically they're pens, but they also function as really small tip, fine nibbed brush pens if you apply a good amount of pressure. And I really like how they write. I got the 48 colored ones, colors. And in the link in the description box, there's two shops that sell these that I think are pretty good. One is where I got these. I bought them separately, the cool and the warm colors. But in the other shop, you can just buy them as a set and there are a lot more options. But anyway, you can pick which one you like more. So these, oh, I love them. I like how they come in a case. So they're gonna be pretty easy to carry around. You can get them in 48, 36, 24, or 12 pieces. And they open up like this. I really like how they come in a case. <laughs> Aren't they so pretty? I love the colors. These are super convenient because I can use them as a pen and they work really well. And as a brush pen, they work well too. 
the tip is pretty sturdy so I have a good feeling that these will last really long and for the price if you calculate it they come out as like 12 pesos a pen which is pretty great the 36 color one does come in a bigger case so you can have all the colors kind of in that one case but I like the 48 because they come in two smaller cases so if I'd want to I can just take them all out and put the colors that I really like in one small case which will be easy to carry around whether it be school a coffee shop when I travel or anything so these are definitely one of my top recommendations I love these pens a lot. I wish I knew about these when I was in high school. And honestly, that's why I'm sharing a lot of stationery with you guys because these are really affordable and there are things that I really wish I had known about when I was younger. I would have had so much fun. So just sharing because I care. Okay, next up, we are pulling out this kind of dupe i'd say for the vintage zebra pens these were 119 pesos for all of these so that's almost like 24 pesos each pen which is really great because these ride pretty smoothly and the colors the pigments are really nice so great dupe for the here I found it. It's a great dupe for the Sarasa Vintage Gel Set. And these come out as like 380 pesos for the set. So 380 versus 119, I think that's a steal. Okay, so since we're on the gel pen topic, I also got two sets of Morandi gel pens. And these are retractable gel pens and they work really well on like brown paper or black paper. It has this like gouache jelly roll vibe to it and I really like it. I didn't expect it to be like that but it's very thick and smooth and I just love the colors as well. These are very vintagey colors and these are very bright colors like bright chalk colors and let's see the names of the sets. Okay so I got the Nordic set and the salty set so these are the two sets that i got really love them they were 135 pesos each so if you divide that by one, two, three, four, nine it comes out as 15 pesos per pen which once again is great uh, i love all the colors for sure and i've been using this already actually been testing it out on my journal I love the consistency, the colors, as I mentioned, really great. And the pen also feels like good quality. I feel like there's a lot of ink in it. And <clears throat> it's a clip pen. Once again, like the Zebra pen, I feel like that's the vibe it was going for. It's almost like a paint pen. So that's really cool, honestly. Okay, and next up, let's go to highlighters. And I finally, finally got the highlighter set that I've been eyeing for a while. And these are the Mild Liner, the Zebra Mild Liner dupes. And all of this was worth like 300, like 350 for all of these, 350. And if you guys are familiar with the Zebra um, Mild Liners, they're like 500 for a set five so for a 25 set with like a 25 color set for 350 that's just so worth it they're basically the same color all of them except for the yellow colors but honestly like you can get the yellow colors individually the original ones also bleed anyway like to the back of the paper sometimes so i wouldn't say that that's a big con if you compare the two some of the ones on shopee i saw like the swatches and the reviews of people and they came out actually not the same as the original ones but these ones for some reason it's only the yellow one that 
isn't that consistent with the colors of the original one so i feel like this particular shop like maybe got the newer version of the dupes there's another there's another dupe that sells these this one's different it's not like other man liner dupes even the tip because a lot of the fake tips have like like the tip here is the same color as this but this one looks exactly like the mild liner so these are class a dupes for the same price so i was really surprised when i opened this which makes me even more excited to recommend it because it's the class a version of it they're not all the same so here we go i honestly would have just gotten these instead of the original ones if i had not bought the original ones yet but during that time, they didn't have dupes like these, so I did not get them. So, <laughs> I'd highly recommend getting these if you're the type of person who likes having a lot of colors all at once. Because they're pretty great quality. Na din. And coming from someone who has and have has used the original ones, there is not much of a difference. 350 divided by 25 comes out as 14 pesos per pen. Speaking of having a complete set and just a lot of colors, you guys are gonna love this next one. It is a set of 100 brush pens. So this is 100 colors of brush pens. These are, from what I've heard, the cheapest brush pens on Shopee. And I'd say that these are the closest pens to like Tombow dupes. I feel like they have a huge color selection. Let's just open it. I've already used some of these. I already took it out. They're over here in my um, pencil case of current pens that I'm using. So I've been using greens and blues and pinks. So you're gonna see some missing pens from here. But there are so many colors and a lot of them are really nice rare colors that I see in my Tombow brush pen set because I do have all the Tombow brush pen colors as well which is crazy if you haven't seen my Tombow brush pen swatches video go ahead over to my channel and find that it's pretty recent there don't you love these neutral tones so I got these for 675 but recently they went on sale for 630 so that was kind of of a bummer but we don't mind we don't mind i had to get it in time to make this video for you guys so each pen comes out as like 6.75 pesos <laughs> which is crazy but yeah not complaining so much these come in sets of 100 80, 60, 40, 30. Oh, there's, there's so many. Um, in the link down below, you'll see how many different kinds of sets there are. But I did get the 100 pieces so that I could swatch them for you guys in a different video because this video will be too long for me to swatch everything. So I plan on like swatching these and just seeing what Tombow colors are similar to them, which I'm excited to do because. I personally will also be using these and showing you guys how I use the, the affordable stationery that I have. Yes, let's make journaling accessible and achievable for everyone. Get them colors. These are great. I also feel like it's good to start out, not really start out, but like to have this wide selection of colors so that when you do invest in like let's say Tombow brush pens, you'll know what colors that you want to move forward with. And another thing that I really like about this brush pen is the other side, the fine tip. These are really fine tips, they're like pen material. So when you do take down notes, this is great to like write important words with so that uh, this pen basically serves as your brush pen for your header, your fine liner for your topics. And maybe even a highlighter if you're down for that. 
lastly, I got both of these from the same shop and they're great. I've always, always wanted to have these. And when I was younger, okay, wait, I'll show it to you first. Okay, so I got the Crayola Super Tips, which I have seen a lot of people use, like the bullet journal people. And it's funny because I already kind of used something like this when I was in grade school, through high school. I used to use the Lil, little hands, Lil Hands coloring pens, which is very similar, if not exactly the same, as the Crayola Super Tips. They have the same nib, and I'd say that they function the same way. So I had a set of these every single year. And once again, I learned about the Crayola Super Tips in college now, and I feel like if I had known about them in high school or grade school, this is probably what I would have been using because I loved using markers for coloring in my projects, my comic strips that we'd make in high school, and just drawing during the break with my friends. Uso kasi before yung little hands, little hands like amongst me and my other artist classmates. The Super Tips in 100 comes in all of these colors and <laughs> this is just, I've been looking at this since I got it. And it's just, there's so many colors, it's overwhelming. I don't even know where to start, but I really love their selection and I've watched like swatch videos of these markers and the colors really are very beautiful and the difference between the 100 and the 50 is that the 50 like the set of 50 has names on the markers which is like oh, i wish the 100 had that but i'd rather have all the colors than just 50 with names on them so i did get the 100 colors and this is just great because crayola super tips actually to me i'd say are three in ones so they're a marker they can be a highlighter because the tip has um, a nice angle to it and also they function as a brush pen so you can practice your upstrokes downstrokes and brush pen lettering with these markers and there are just so many colors so these are also the markers to get if you are thinking of practicing brush pen lettering because you do have a good way to practice upstrokes and downstrokes and also a great way to figure out what colors you really like using and always reach for so super duper recommend like all grades all years just great great thing to get for yourself great thing to gift and hoard like me so yeah and also i got this from a shop of a josa so please make sure to check out her shop her prices are honestly really good and she has a huge selection of other kinds of art supplies that i also really like so make sure to check it out and another one from her shop as well I got the Crayola Colors of the World markers, and these are in the thicker markers. So, like this. So, once again, great for coloring, brush pen lettering for bigger letters and strokes. And yeah, these are great. Um, I feel like if you're also into like art and just drawing people, characters, comic strips, or if you want a lot of like neutral tones in your bullet journal, this is a great set to get. I got a bunch of nice brush pens and the pen as well from another shop. And so these are like black brush pens and they come in different size tips. So I'd say these are kind of like the Pentel Fude brush pens but in different sizes. I do think that they're very um, great quality brush pen when it comes to like the nibs and the pigment. So I got them in um, a 0.5 millimeter, a 1 millimeter, and a 2 millimeter. Love these a lot. Highly recommend. 
And then I also got two other brush pens um, which come in like a volcanic gray and like a magenta color. Uh, I wouldn't recommend the volcanic gray if you're looking for a light gray because this is a very dark gray. So if you're into that dark gray look, then get this one. This one I really like. It's like a vintage color as well and very neutral maroon. And then I also got a gel pen from them. I think this is like 20 pesos. I'm also going to be making a bunch of color palettes with the markers that I use so that you can see the color combinations that I like using when I do my journaling, which also applies to like note taking if you like having very pleasing notes to look at. So uh, this is the end of the video. I hope that you liked the stuff that you saw. These are really honestly like my Totga stationery supplies that I really, really wish I knew about earlier in my stationery journey when I was in grade school, high school, and even college. These would have been such a joy to have. And I hope that, if anything, this video introduced you to some stationery materials that you would like as well. So that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope that I see you in the next video. Till then, I love you all so, so much. Stay safe, sane, and inspired. Hugs and besos. See you soon. What you doing?